Um, Mrs. Wright. Had you ever gotten a perm before? Yes. How many would you say? Five. You know, a girl in my sorority, Tracy Marcinko, got a perm once. We all tried to talk her out of it. Curls weren't a good look for her. She didn't have your perm structure. But thankfully, that same day, she entered the Beta Delta Pi wet t-shirt contest where she was completely hosed down from head to toe. Objection. Why is this relevant? Oh, I have a point, I promise. Then make it. Yes, sir. Um, Mary Louise, why is it that Tracy Marcinko's curls were ruined when she got hosed down? No, I, I heard the question, it was obscene. Exactly. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocolate? <laughs> I'm not a trained lawyer, so the now, semantic... Wouldn't somebody who's had, say, 30 perms before in their life be well aware of this rule? And if, in fact, you weren't washing your hair, as I suspect you weren't because your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if, in fact, you had heard the gunshot, Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which would mean that you would have had to have found Mrs. Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story plausible. Isn't that right? Why are you, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you? Mary Louise. After you shot your father. Mrs. Wright. It's a lie. It's a lie. Mrs. Wright. 